Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. Hello. 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 Okay, first up, we've got some exciting news from Rodea in Spain. Sebua has made the first repeat of the Jorge Diaz Rulo Patanix in Rodea, suggesting a downgrade of 9A plus from the original grade of 9B. Seb had to overcome a few obstacles before sending the route, including rain, which eventually had to find alternative beta to get around the wet holds, and then a freak accident where a piece of metal fell in his eye. Seb had to go to A&E where he was given an eye patch to wear, but after finding that he couldn't even climb at 7B with just one eye, Seb decided to brave it and took the eye patch off in order to make an ascent of Botanix on his third day of projecting the route. Seb has since made an ascent of De Battre Mon Coeur C'est Arrêté, 9A, the first repeat of a Danny Andrada route. Nice one, Seb. Seb is uh, in very impressive form at the moment. Mm, he is crushing it. He's absolutely crushing it. And so I feel kind of bad for Jorge, but you know, we'll see. The third ascension should tell us all. Yeah. Now, just when you thought it was safe to return to Yosemite Big Walls, Tommy Caldwell and Alex Honnold have put up a new line. Tommy and Alex have established a new free climb on El Capitan in Yosemite. The line vaguely follows the new Dawn route and is a variant of early morning light to the right of the nose. Kevin Jorgensen has been working the line with them but couldn't join them for the final ascent due to other commitments. Now there isn't a huge amount of information available on this route at the moment, but we do know there's lots of 513 pitches, tricky corners, and it was originally a Leo Holding attempted route, like he got quite far on it and then didn't do it. But it was a cool story I was reading on Planet Mountain or something like that, where apparently Leo bolted onto the wall uh, an Alfa Romeo badge from the front of a car, mm -hmm. because it was a blank section that, that was the only way he thought he could get through it. But Alex and Tommy found a way through it, so lots of history to that route. Nice one, guys. Amazing. Right, next up, we've got some impressive sending from the south of France. Saïd Belaj has sent over a thousand routes from 8A to 9A, many on site. So why haven't you heard of him? This is a question that Andrew Bishara asked back in 2014 for an article for Rock and Ice. A question that seems just as pertinent today. The underground sender from Sweden hasn't really come overground since that article was written, but he's popped his head up in order to let us know that he's climbed the 9A route, TTT, Trip Tick Tonic, in Déversé Gorge de Lou, as reported by 8A.nu. Saeed speaks five languages and is a very impressive musician. We'll be keeping our eyes and ears open for more from the talented Swede. So I'd never heard of Saeed from Sweden, but he's Looks like a pretty cool guy. I met him a long time ago at the Petzl Grigri tour thing okay. in the castle. He was such a lovely bloke, but I had no idea he was like a badass climber. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, thought yeah. he was a sort of Petzl demo guy. It was only afterwards I was like, oh, he's he badass. He seemed like the ultimate underground guy. <laughs> exactly, nice one, man. Now, La Rambler is a 9A plus route that seems to be constantly in the news, and it's seen another repeat. Cedric Lachat has repeated La Rambler in Siriana, Spain. This is a truly magnificent line and has been on many climbers' tick lists over the years. Cedric has attempted the route before but couldn't quite seem to get a break. After some beta advice from Danny Andrada, Cedric sent the route, his fifth 9A+. He's been doing a lot of uh, big wall stuff, sort of on uh, the Eiger. Yeah. And then he sort of flipped it and then went for La Rambler. It's kind of like from one extreme to the other. He's he's in good form. He is. He's always, he always seems to be like on a level, doesn't he? Well, yeah. So the last time I saw him, he was in my gym in Chamonix and yeah. he had two broken arms and a broken leg. He was literally in like two <laughs> casts and, and a thing. I don't know if he was a broken leg, said it. Whatever you did, you were in many casts. Uh, and he was still like training. So it was pretty cool to see. Um, okay, next up, we've got some very impressive uh, young gun sending. 8A.nu has reported that Theo Blas, nine years old, has made an ascent of an AB route, Bertan, at Saint Guillaume le Désert after five to six tries during two days. Previously, only a handful of nine year olds have climbed 8B, including Brooke Rabatou, so Theo, for sure, will be one to look out for in the future. As for me, I just hope he's having a good time. I like a kid crusher, but at the same time, I just kind of want them to do it. I don't want to give them too much mm. spotlight. You I, know what I mean? I hate them all. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I can I can see that. But uh, <laughs> he's um, he's nine years old. He's sending 8B. Just keep going, man. Like, good things will happen if you keep going. Um, 
That's my that's my view. Yeah, it's super impressive, isn't it? It's crazy, crazy. Now, uh, Matteo Minardi has sent a monster route. Matteo has climbed the huge 55-meter 9A called Waterworld. It's the longest and steepest of the routes in the Osp Cave, and this is his seventh 9A. Perhaps 9A plus soon. The thing that really drew my attention to this story was the seventh 9A. Like mm -hmm. that, is, that, that, is a, that is massive to climb that many, and 55 meters of a route. Jeez, there's a long way. That's a big 9A. It's a big 9A. Do you reckon it's like lots of little eight Bs put together? Yeah, I, I, did, I just can't, like I hate anything over about 12 meters, so the idea of climbing 55 meters just blows my mind a bit. You need a long rope. I do, you would need a long rope. You need a huge rope. Yeah. Speaking of long ropes, it's the AC counter. So I think we should we just leave it nice and neat there. Yeah, please do. It's because out of control. Well, I mean, like Seb could have been on it, mm -hmm. but he obviously decided to downgrade. Yeah. So he's, you know, we just leave it nicely there. Maybe would... he doesn't know about the 9B counter. I've told him. He's told him. Yeah, and he's told still him. downgraded his route. Yeah, but he's an honest guy. And plus, he did it with one dodgy eye. So true. You know, maybe yeah. that's a downgrade there, right there. Anyway, that's it. Media, 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 media. What's new in media? Uh, it's all about Cold House media. Media. The media. Uh, there's, you know that prowl they did in Peru? Mm -hmm. They went back and it's, it, I, honestly, I watched it today and I loved it. Yeah. That's like, such an incredible line. Who, who climbs it? Uh, sure. There you go, have a look. Nice one, Shah. I'm forever impressed by her climbing. She's she's an insane climber. Mm -hmm. Josh is pretty good as well. He's all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's sort of media related ish. Uh, it's Kendall Mountain Film Festival next weekend. Woohoo! Big one. I have never been, uh, and we are going next week. It looks fun. This guy's going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to just hang out with sheep in the Lake District. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> um, but there is Looks a uh, there's a yeah, there's a little teaser uh, online. Here's a little teaser of the little teaser. It can be scary going to new places. It can make us feel small, lost, or confused. But often it's in the scared and in the unknown that we begin to wonder. We wonder, what's out there? Where could I go? What could I do? And looking around, we begin to ask, what if, where next? And why is everyone in the same type of jacket? We begin to feel alive like the possibilities and potential are breathing life into our very feet and urging us to move. Suddenly the world becomes a playground and nature pulls us in. The spirit of the mountain, the calling of the oceans, the welcome of the local park. They say good things come to those who wait, but better things come to those who go. Go to the peaks, go to the beach, the back garden or the back of beyond. And in the rush of being active, we begin to forget what we see in the mirror and what we hear in our heads. Instead, we remember that we're able and that we're invited to change perspective, to escape the noise, to be free. That is, that looks like some amazing filmography, cinematography. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the... I don't want to say the Oscars for films because it's not, obviously, but it's like the, the, a lot of films it's get the British showcased there. climbing Oscars adventures things. Films, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, I think um, I'm quite excited about uh, the uh, what's his name, blind climber. I am to Jesse Dufton. Jesse Dufton, sorry. Yeah. I'm also excited about um, I can't have forgotten everybody. Dave names. Dave Petz's film. Uh, yep. With Emma Twyford on the Big Bang. Is it Big Bang? Yeah. Big Emma Bang. Twyford, Big Bang, exactly. Yes. Uh, th there's, some, there's some cool films there. So we're going like, to line up a bunch of interviews, chat to some people, just sort of soak up the candle atmosphere. If well. you're there, go and say hello to this guy. Mm. When is it? This weekend? Next it's weekend. Next weekend, yeah. I'll be there from Friday morning ish. Okay, excellent. Yeah. 
Right, shop stuff. Yes, uh, Chris Sharma, a bit of a legend, and his favourite shoe, according to him uh, and Tanaya's budgets, is Tanaya Mastia. Uh, it's the blue one. Love the blue one. We interviewed him at Outdoor about it yep. uh, back in the day, um, and that's back in stock or in stock, I can't remember which, on the Epic TV shop. It's a high performance shoe. It's kind of Tanaya's A game shoe. Yeah, so if you want to like really send hard in the pair of Tanaya's, get this shoe. Yeah. Uh, also, and if you're watching this, past Thursday at midnight, this doesn't apply to you, but if you're watching it now, there's a Patagonia discount code. You get 10% of all Patagonia gear. It's Patagonia 10. So what's the dates? What's the date? So it is so fifth, six, seventh. So midnight on the seventh, yeah. it finishes. Okay, so, so if, until midnight on the seventh, yeah, they can get it. Seventh of November. So if you're an early bird climbing daily, take advantage. Patagonia 10. Mm. We all like Patagonia. And finally, 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 my favorite shoe of choice, genuinely, Mad Rock Drone. Mm -hmm. Love Mad Rock. Mad Rock is back in stock. That drone is, is honestly one of my favorite shoes. And I get a lot of stick for it because people don't think it's that good, but it's amazing. I love it. And it's back yeah. in stock. Buy it. Bye, 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 mm. bye. High sale, low. Uh, comment of the week. Yes, you want to go first? Comment of the okay. week. Comment of the week. Right, my one is, uh, I think that you kind of hinted last week you were talking about different types of content that mm. we do. Uh, so, Rebu says, love the Matt and Matt show. <laughs> also, do you like that, kind, that new kind of video, but really want a more uh, Matt and Hugo's challenge series again? Uh, this is where I do enjoy this comment. Mm. By the way, stick to t-shirts, Matt. I think it's more your style. Ooh, because because I was saying that my, your shirt shirt could be my new style. Mmm. But, but apparently t-shirts. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm I'm, I'm going for t-shirt shirt and gilet. Today. That's that's a yeah double 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 button again. Mmm. Mm. Well, I think like you know it's sometimes you just got to mix it up. That works. It works. Mix the styles. Um, go for the t-shirt. I've just got I've got Terry, a long Terry's sleeve again. as well. But this is an old one because you can see it's got a, it's got a moth hole in it. Ah, nice, nice. You get you sometimes get a bit stick for the Arcteric stuff, don't you? People Do think I? that you're, you know, you're splurging. <laughs> it's true. I get them for free, okay? They're wonderful and free. You heard it here first. Free! Uh, my comment basically the same as your comment. Uh, something about appreciate. This is from Michael uh, Drexler. Really appreciate the range of content, blah, 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 blah. blah. Strangely enough, my favorite show is Matt and Hugo's Challenge. Now, I wanted to bring that up because I was in Arcos on Sunday mm -hmm. and the gentleman, I can't remember his name. Oh, the manager. Anyway, the manager of Arcos uh, was saying that if we want to do it again this year, mm -hmm. he will set up a route for us that doesn't move. Ah, interesting. So, so we can do it for like six months. Yeah, so it could just be there. Because you know, before we were like, we were a bit stressed, we didn't know when they were going to take it down. But that was quite nice in a way. I quite like that. It I was, like the time it was it. nice to have an end to it, but yeah. it'd be nice to be like, can we have an end to it on this date? Okay, okay. But he's excited for us to come back and do it. On the big wall. Whatever, whatever we want. I mean, the, the, the truth is, I've actually gone backwards in my climbing since last year. Yeah. Whereas I think you've met very much, uh, you've, you've, you've moved forward. So I think maybe people like seeing a rubbish climber, but I don't know how much they like seeing a rubbish climber. I don't think you're a rubbish climber, number one. Okay. But right. you could, it, this could be your, your start back into the world of climbing. This could be the kick. The kick that I need <laughs> in to your get me crazy back life. into climbing. Okay, all right, I'll consider it. I'll okay. consider it. And thank you very much for all your support, of course. Mm. We appreciate it. It is something that we've been talking a lot about. It's just been hard to make it happen. There's been yeah. certain obstacles that have been thrown in our way, uh, although we have been trying. I, uh, S H I T, you not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly try for yeah. sure. Something and will happen, won't it? We'll do so, something, 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 something along that line. Something will happen. Mm. Something, something great is happening <laughs> uh, at Climbing Daily. Um, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, I've got I'm just in Germany. I might go skiing. Verbier is open. Wow. I know. How's that happened? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, have a good one, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.